Hey guys, what's up? It's Mike G. Um, I got another scrapbook. It's not horror though. It's uh, 1980s like teen comedies. Uh, maybe I don't think the Sorceress is in there, but that's the Sorceress. I'll have to find that one. I don't know why I put that on the cover, but uh, let's check it out. I don't know I even know what's in here except from the preview of the cover. Here we go. My tutor. Uh, I think I saw this. I think I did. I guess I don't remember much about it. Yeah, I guess she tutors the dude in French and other things. <laughs> Probably watch it for the boobs and stuff. Um, all right. Next what page? A little sex. I think that was on HBO all the time in the '80s, and I don't think I ever watched it. And this is Beat the Beach Girls, which I think I saw on cable. Just TNA stuff. And there's a little sex, uh, ad, I don't know what they call that, a little ad, Kate Cap show. And here's the ad for it. And Beach Girls, another different Beach Girls ad. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Alright, we got Screwballs. The Nuts Who Always, The Nuts Who Always Score. Alright. Uh, didn't see this one. Heard it was pretty bad. Especially from that article, right? A for awful. And there's Sorceress, which I think I saw. Cheesy, like Conan ripoff. Um, but cool to have the ad, for sure. So let's see what's next. Uh, screwballs. Uh, uh, review, sorry guys. Yep, and Sorceress review, saying how bad it is. I don't think Sorceress is a just... Uh, I can't read. I'm trying to read through the camera. Don't think of Sorceress as just a terrible movie. Think of it as a historical event. <laughs> and there's the joystick ad. <laughs> Rings the boredom bell. Wow. Over here we have Class, which I liked. Saw it in the theater back in the day. I liked Andrew McCarthy and Rob Lowe. It's a good, good teen movie. And, uh... John Cusack's in this one, too. And we got, ooh, Caddyshack, classic. Great film. Love it. We all love it. All right, should I do a Caddyshack imitation? <laughs> I don't really have one. <laughs> all right. Going All the Way, which I don't think I ever saw. But I always liked that ad when I was, like, 14. Uh, I guess you can probably figure out why. But, uh, yeah, I don't think I saw that one. And then we got joysticks right there. And then there's the joysticks article was on the previous page. <clears throat> I guess it was like capitalizing on the arcade craze in the 80s. Okay, let's turn the page. Last American Virgin, one of my all-time favorite 80s teen comedies. Love this movie. Watch it. I don't know. Once every couple years. Great film. Great movie. Funny as hell. Lots of TNA. I don't know. And it's realistic, man. You know, the, the good guy does not get the girl. You know, which I thought was really good. Uh, great movie. Love it. Um, Porky's. Which I don't remember much about it. I think I saw it once. Didn't really do much for me. Always liked the poster, though. And they're previewing... Be the first to see coming attractions from Porky's 2 the next day. This was like a re-release of Porky's. This, uh, this thing here. And that's, of course, the guys looking into the shower. At Kim Cattrall, I believe. Alright. Flipping a page. Porky's 2. There you go. I think I saw it. Didn't really think much of it. It's not one of my favorites. I don't own it. And there's a Porky's 2 ad. Article review. Lean on jokes and somewhat disjointed. Boom. Next page, Porky's Revenge. <laughs> I didn't see this one, I don't think. I'm not a Porky's fan, but these posters are cool. Pretty cool. All new. They had to make sure you knew it was a new one. See? There you have it. Rated R. And then here's class again. I saw that in the theater, that was cool. 
It was always cool seeing the R-rated movies in the theater when you're like 14 or 15. There's my ticket. Alright. Class uh, review. Jacqueline Bisset, I guess, was the girl. They made him dress up in his dress up in a bra and panties, and they locked him outside. And there they are. All right. Hot Dog the movie, which I liked when I saw it when I was fourteen, for obvious reasons, um, boobs and stuff. But uh, now I rewatched it lately. It's terrible. <laughs> This ad is cool, I thought, because this only this ad was only in the paper once. It says, are you a hot dog? And it has all these little things that you need to be a hot dog or whatever. And I thought that was really cool. And that never was in the paper ever again after that one time. And there's my ticket. And there's the crew right there. It's David Naughton in the middle. Blurry. Here's the real ad. Um, which is a cool poster for sure. I remember Shannon Tweed in it. And there she is. Um, it's okay, I guess. Watch You can watch it once in a while. And then it says, leave this dog in the snack bar. <laughs> they didn't like it. And there's all the reviews. Next, we got Blame It on Rio, which I saw in the theater. I kind of liked it. I mean, uh, this girl, Michelle Williams, is or Michelle Johnson. Let me see. I'm going to look at the credits. Michelle Johnson, yeah, she was hot. So I was 14, so whatever. And Demi Moore's in it, too. Um, this is all right. And there's the review. There she is. There's my ticket. 250 Nice deal. <clears throat> Last page, blame it on Rio again. Okay, must be the continuation of the review, and I put another ad in there. Alright guys, that was my 80s teen comedy album. And I got some more. I'm going to do an action one next, I think, guys. Alright, take it easy.